Now, I also have to tell you that we're going to assume that the probability of uh, a boy or a girl coming out is 50%, right? It's, it's equal. Um, that's not always the case, actually. If you actually do the observed probability, girls right now have a higher chance of, of being born. Um, so that's, I think there's like 51% women born, 49% men or something like that. It's not exactly 50-50. Uh, but we're going to consider it for this exercise to be even. Does that make sense for you? So assuming equal chance of boy girl. So equal chance of boy girl. Hey, what firstly is our event? What's our event? Okay. Firstly, how many babies are we having? Are we having just one? Can we ask the question, um, if you have one baby, how many ways can you get two boys? If you have one baby, you cut them in half. You guys are sick. Weird people, my goodness. Okay, so, <laughs> firstly, what is our procedure even? What's our procedure? What's happening here? What no? You can say it if you're wrong, it doesn't matter. It should be video recorded, and everyone in the world's gonna hear it. <laughs> no, seriously, what is our procedure? What are these people doing? Having babies. Making babies. <laughs> Having babies. <laughs> Making babies. That'd be a different class. Okay, they're having babies. Um, so how many babies are they having? Are they having one baby? Three. I mean three. That's our procedure. The procedure is having three children. Okay, the procedure is not just having babies. It's having a specific number of babies. Do you see the difference there? You can't even talk about this if you only have one baby because you can't say, out of having three children, how many ways could you have two boys if you're only having one baby? You don't fit in that category. So our procedure right here, if you want to write that down, the procedure is having three children. Now the event is based on that procedure. What's the event? The event is what you're looking for. What are you looking for? Two boys. Two, two what now? Two boys. Two boys and what else? Hopefully, hopefully you get a girl if you have three kids. I mean, you're not just going to get two boys and nothing, right? Girls count too, guys. Girls count. Well, if you have two boys, what's the other one? Girl. A girl. We hope. It's going to be a girl. So we have two boys and we have one girl. We're not going to get three boys. That would not be our event. So right here, I, I guess I will write this down for you. The procedure is having three children. Congratulations. Having three children. The event is getting two boys. If I say two boys, that means out of three children, one of them has to be a girl. So we want to find the procedure, I'm sorry, the probability, I'm sorry, of our event, two boys, one girl. Oh my. We're going to bring up some other other words that we haven't talked about in a couple of days now. Before we do that, I do want to figure out whether this is going to be subjective, observed, or classical probability. Is this going to be subjective probability? We're going to be calculating stuff over here. We're not just going 30%. No, we're not doing that, right? We're not basing it on an educated guess. We're not a doctor. We're going to be doing the actual either theory or observations here. Have we observed some people? Have we observed some people? Is this what we're doing? Do I have some data on the board for you that says, here are 100 couples who had three kids. 30 of them have two boys. Have I done that? So is this observed or classical, do you think? Also, this gives it away. equal chance of being a boy girl because in order to calculate the probability if it's classical you have to have the equal chance of something happening 
you can't do classical probability if you don't have that case. Okay, if girls had a 51% chance of being born and boys only had a 49% chance of being born, you couldn't do this classically. Okay, you would have to do observe. Uh, they have to have that equal chance. Like rolling a die. Remember talking about rolling a die last time? So if it's a way to die, all bets are off. You can't do classical probability because it's not even. You don't have an even chance of getting a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. The only reason you were able to come up with it last time is I said, what's the probability of rolling a 2? You said, oh, well, it's 1 6. There's 1 2, there's 6 sides, therefore 1 6. That assumes that every side has an equal chance of coming up. If that doesn't happen, i.e., if this does not take place, not equal, you can't do this classically. Not even if you understand that. Okay, good. Now, so we have our procedure, we have our event, we know this is going to be classical probability. Write that down if you want to. This is certainly classical, it is not observed. We need to find out something called, oh, our, we need to find out what could happen. What could happen is our whole group of outcomes is called our, this is called filter. So our whole group of outcomes, everything that they could happen, all put together is called our sample space. Say that louder. Sample space. Sample space. Does that word ring a bell to you? The sample space is every possible outcome you could get. We need to list our sample space in order to do this classically. Because you have to know what can happen. If you're rolling a die, your sample space is just easy. It's one, two, three, four, five, or six. For this case, though, we're going to have some different, different things we can have. So if a couple has three kids, Sample spaces have those funny looking brackets. Let's list out what you could get for three kids. What's the first thing you could get? Or what's one thing you could get? What should we start with, I should assume? All three ways, okay. Great. You get a boy, then a boy, then a boy. What else? Okay, three girls. Good luck with that one. What do you think would be tougher, three boys, three girls? I think three girls would, yeah, personally. Uh, boys are, are just nasty, gross people, but girls can be mean, man. <laughs> okay, so three boys, three girls, what else could we get? By the way, I like to start off with this way and this way and then list out everything that starts with a B, everything starts with a G, that way you don't forget anything. So let's start with the, the triple boys, we got up that, what's, we got that there, what's the next thing? We could do that. Someone else give me another one. Uh-huh. Okay, give me another one. Boy, girl, girl. Anything else starting with a B? Nope, that's all of them. Okay, so girls. We could do the girl, girl, boy. We could do GBG, and we could do GBB. Girl, boy. Have we missed any? Now, before you start saying, well, Mr. Leonard, I mean, aren't some of these the same? Like, isn't, wouldn't this be the same, having two girls and one boy, and then having a girl and a boy, then a girl? And no, people, I mean, we have individual personalities, right? These are different people. So if you had a girl first, and then another girl, and then a boy, you'd have a different family than if you had your girl, and then your boy, and then your girl, wouldn't you? Completely different family. So these are eight different families that could happen with your situation if you're going to have three kids. You with me on this? Okay, so there is a difference there. So if we have these eight different choices, what we need to find out, there's only eight different choices. Eight possible ways you can have three kids. You agree with that, right? There's only eight possible ways. All three boys and then all three girls and whatever you have permutation of those. Um, how many ways would accomplish our event? Which ones? No, 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 it's not that That's two girls. What did I ask for? Two boys, one girl. Oh, this one? Good. And the next one. Good. Good. Very good. Yeah, anything that has the two boys and the one girl. Because we didn't say what order, right? We just said ultimately two boys and one girl. There's three, three ways that make it happen. Notice how it's certainly not observed, right? We didn't make a family have eight sets of three children and then calculate which ones came out with two boys. That'd just be crazy. It'd be like, how many kids? Oh my gosh, I don't even want to think about that. 24 kids? 
So eight, eight ways we can accomplish our event out of eight possible outcomes. Remember, these are called, these things, each individual one are called what? What are these? Probabilities. No, these aren't probabilities. The probability is what we're calculating here. This is our sample space. The sample space is made up of every individual. What type of event? This is an event. That's our main event. Main event of the evening, which is right here. And then we have many events called... Starts with S, rhymes with Impel. Yeah. Impel, rhymes with Impel, not Ample. <laughs> they're simple events. They're, they're an, an individual outcome. So we need to get this down, folks. You need to know what a procedure is, what's going on. An event, what you're ultimately looking for. Simple events, how your procedure can be accomplished. And the way we find our probabilities take the things that accomplish our event divided by the total number of simple events, that's what we have right here. And that will give us a probability. And the sample space is everything? Sample space is this, yeah. Everything that could happen. The sample space is made up of simple events. What is this? So 37.5%. So you know, right now, if boys and girls have an equal chance of occurring, which they, they they're, it's really close, so this is going to be very accurate for us. If you were going to go out there right now and have three kids, don't do that without thinking about it. <laughs> um, you're going to go out there and have three kids. You're going to have a 37.5% chance of having two boys and one girl. You'll also have a 37.5% chance, chance of getting two girls and one boy, because there's there's three more of those probabilities. Can you find the probability of getting all three boys? What's that? One out of one out of eight. Or all three girls, one out of eight. Thankfully, that, that's a lower chance than two boys and one girl. Or two girls and one boy. OK, a couple of notes for us before we go any further. Firstly, did this make sense for you? <clears throat> probabilities always have to be between zero and one. You can't ever have a probability less than zero, a negative chance of something happening. What's the probability of a roll of three? Negative two. <laughs> make any sense, all right? So probabilities are between zero and one. Notice every probability we've calculated before we change it to percentage was between zero and one. Can't be over one. Can't have more than a hundred percent chance of something happening. I know we kind of use that loosely in real life. You go. Um, how much attention are you focusing on? I'm focused 110 percent. You're just a liar. You focus 110 percent. Mathematically, only way you can focus 100 percent. Makes sense. Yeah, it's between zero and one though. So probabilities are always between zero and one. And you can be zero. What would a probability of zero be? Uh, what, what does that imply about your event? If you have a probability of zero, that would say that your event is impossible. It's, it'd be like this. Um, roll a die for me one time. What's the probability?